Let's talk Tanya for the 29th day of the second other. So, yesterday we started talking about the world of Atsilos, a world of godliness, a world of complete and utter nullification to God. And we explained that the world of Atsilos is above the worlds of Bria and Yitzira, which is the higher and lower levels of Gan Eden. And the, low, the higher and lower levels of Gan Eden, as we spoke two days ago, depending on our level of Kavana, our intent in serving God, that if I serve God with a love and awe of God, and it is instinctual, it is based on my natural love for God, so then, my, the, then, then, then the place of my soul, after 120 years, will be in the world of Yitzira, which is the emotional world where God's emotions are manifest, and a person who serves God with a higher level of, of love and awe, um, one that is intellectually based, so that person's soul, after 120 years, the place of their soul is in the world of Bria, which is where God's intellect is a manifest. Is there anyone whose souls go to the world of Atsilus, which is the world of nullification? The Alter Rebbe says yes. And who is that? The greatest of the great, the greatest Sadiqim, who their love, who their service of God isn't even based on the higher level of love and awe, because something which we talked about previously in chapter 35, ultimately every love is somewhat selfish, is self-centered. If I can say, I love you, so then there is an I involved. Um, in the world of Atsilos, there can't be an I. So who goes to the world of Atsilos? The greatest tzaddikim, the greatest holy people, those who, are, who can't even say, I love you, because there is no I. Rather, their service of God is with Mesiras Nefesh, complete and utter uh, submission and nullification. The example the Alter Rebbe gives over here in Tanya is of the Avis, the patriarchs, Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Our sages refer to our patriarchs as the Merkava, the divine chariot. What makes them the divine chariot? So just like a chariot. So when a chariot is traveling, um, it's not as if the chariot has an opinion where to go. I want to go right. I want to go left. I want to go straight. I want to make a U-turn. Um, and it's not even that it has an opinion, but nevertheless, it's so to say, it uh, puts aside its own opinion and it goes where the driver directs it to go. The, the chariot doesn't have an opinion. It has wheels and it goes wherever the driver takes it. The, um, the Avais, the patriarchs, Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov were on that level. This is something which they earned through their work. They arrived at such a level of, of, of humility and submission and nullification to God that they lacked the ego. They lacked the I want and I desire. It was all about God. People who are on such a high level and that level of nullification, so when they pass on, their souls go to the world of Atsilos, the world of godliness, the world of nullification. Now, you might be listening to this and saying, yeah, that might be interesting, but why is that relevant to me? I'm not on that level. Why is Dr. Rebbe even telling us this? Does Dr. Rebbe not know his clientele? He's not talking to people who don't have ego altogether. The answer to that, we'll find out, God willing, in tomorrow's Tanya.